Good evening. You know, some, some things I learn in life and some things I learn in life. And some people you learn in life and some people you just try to figure out what the hell is wrong with you. So the conversation at the job today was why don't women report rape? Now, of course, women know the reason why many women don't report rape. <clears throat> when a man rapes her or she gets raped or assaulted, why she don't report it? Okay, and for the ones in the back, I'm going to break it down to you what happens. She goes to the police station. She explains to him that she was raped. Now, I'm talking about the real deal. I'm not talking about the ones with the fake rape and the fake pregnancies. Or I'm talking about the real people that's victims like myself. I'm not, I'm not, I have not been raped, but Lord knows I've been beaten up on the streets and men have tried to take, you know. But at the end of the day, thank God for child abuse because I fought back and I knew that at the end of the day, it was either going to be my life or their life. A lot of girls like me <clears throat> have been raped, murdered, and killed. And it's ongoing. It's a personal thing for within myself. With this struggle, I go through and stuff like I don't wear big, I wear baggy clothes. And, you know, I don't wear things as far as showing my body and stuff like that, which a lot of guys like, you know, you're always covered up. Yeah, I know. I'm always covered up because I'm not advertising, not advertising as far as, you know, some girls out there want to have fun. I get it. <clears throat> and that's fine. But when you're a person like me who's been through trauma and at the end of the day, let me just share this with you. When a man tries to beat you up or he does beat you up or try to rape you, he does not have protection on. He doesn't have a condom on. His whole thing he wants you to fight back because he wants to see if he could beat you half to death and to resist and once he, once you resist, he can go inside of your body and ejaculate, you know, whatever he got, HIV, whatever the case may be, now you have it. And the reason why a lot of women don't report it, because this is what happens, you go to the police station. Rebeto, what did you have on to provoke him? Why did you do this to this poor innocent man that was just walking down the street mind has been but you stood up there with your boobies and your body and you provoked him and you made him rape you? What did you do? Now I remind you, you just with this whole traumatic ordeal. In reality, you're thinking that somebody would say, you know what, this is wrong. You can't do this to this person. But a lot of times, not every time, police don't do those things. They say, what did you do to provoke him? Then all of a sudden you became a lock and stalk, laughing stock. Well, look at the outfit you wear. You could be covered up head to toe. You could be walking around butt naked. It does not matter. It doesn't give you the right to rape anyone. Let's start there. So a lot of times girls don't report it. Me, myself, I did not report it. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to go through it anymore. I didn't want to go through, what did I have on? Why did I do this to poor little instant man? I'm sitting there bleeding in front of you. Ribs busted in and out. Can't even, attacked on the street, fighting back. Had heels on my hair. Everything went against me. And I fought back. At the end of the day, he did not rape me, but he beat the fucking hell out of me. My ribs and everything, I couldn't even walk. I couldn't even stand up. My ribs were so broken. And one thing I realized is that if I go there to the police station... I'm going to hear, what did I do to that poor innocent man? And even though I'm sitting in front of him bleeding or were bleeding and crying, my tears don't matter. It's the fact that I have to support the black man and make me seem like the person who perpetrated. This is the reason why a lot of girls don't report it. So dude was like, well, maybe you should have had a different type of outfit on. I said, you support rapists. No, I don't. Yes, you do. To tell somebody you have to wear a certain outfit for somebody you don't even know is crazy as hell to me. You wear your clothes for what the hell you want to wear. Not for so type of thing, stimulation. Unless you find somebody you want to be with, stuff like that, that's a whole different subject. And, you know, still not rape. But it's consensual. But the fact of the matter that it's a conversation where what did you do to him and why would he feel as though he has the right and you're laughing because this is funny to you. I wear big clothes 
as you can see, they're big. I don't wear, I don't, I don't advertise. I don't, I don't advertise anyway. But I changed my whole demeanor. I don't see men the same way I used to. I always took that at their back and at the end of the day. Oof, that's a whole nother storm to go at that slippy slope. But at the end of the day, I realize that my hair goes against me, my earrings go against me, everything I go goes against me. When I'm fighting a man who's been working out all day to try to raise somebody and beat the shit out of me. I'm not even little, I'm tall. I'm six feet tall and I'm here fighting men that's fucking stronger than strong. And I don't know if, I don't know if anybody can spirit something like that, but they super duper strong. It had to be the grace of God and a lot of child abuse that I went through that made me have strength. And it always had to be the whisper of God whispering in the ear saying, stop it. Because that's the only reason why I didn't get raped. And God bless the ones who have been raped and stuff like that. God bless you. Because at the end of the day, oof, it's a lot. It's a lot. But we will be best. Be well, be blessed. Remember one thing, my sisters out there, and even, even some men out there who've been touched and raped, you have my back. And remember, no means no.